Hi, welcome to Mailbag. Actually, I don't have an Australian accent. I'm in Canada, but I got the EV blog meter just now, Kane. It's still cold, and I thought I would unpackaging. So here it is. Uh, there's the waybill. I've um, blocked out some personal different stuff from it. Uh, so here we take a look. You can pause it if you want to take a look there. But it looks like uh, it was declared for $99, and I ended up having to pay about $30 Canadian in fees, uh, $12.64 in taxes, $10.50 plus GST for a processing fee, and $4.75 plus GST for a transaction fee. So quite a bit more in fees than in actual tax, but whatever, that's fine. Uh, on my credit card, it was 280 Canadian plus this 30, so that's 310 Canadian for this meter uh, total, including shipping. It was uh, mailed out, I believe, on Thursday, and it arrived here uh, today on Monday, so that's pretty fast from Australia. All right, so let's get into the package. I'm gonna hold it down here with my foot because it's on the floor. I don't have a fancy video set up for this kind of thing. Ooh, look at that. It's a case. So be careful when you cut into it. Uh, I uh, knew that there might be something there, so I was made sure that I didn't cut too deep. Beautiful. <laughs> That's a cool EV blog kind of canvas case. Very nice. Little belt strap on the back. Use my feet like a monkey. Oh yeah, okay, what do we got inside here? Let's see. So, there's the, oh, that, that's a set of, okay, we'll have to get into this. Looks like a set of extensions. Uh, I was kind of expecting kind of meter pro. Sorry about all this. I, I don't have a setup for doing like mailbag videos and stuff. I'm just holding my phone here. So, oh, I see, I see. It is these, I can't remember what he said, what Dave said he was going to replace the stock um, probes with, but very interesting tip. Oh, yeah, see? Can you focus? There we go. So that's interesting. I've never seen a tip like that. Maybe Dave showed these tips in a video, but I don't remember. Nice and pointy. And I see. And then there's a, a protective sleeve, which goes over that to protect. I'm not sure how this works. It's hard to do with one hand. I'm sure it's all fine and amazing. Okay, so those are the probes. What else is in here? Uh, I'm looking in the, in the bag here. So you gotta I'm do this with one hand. I see it opens. It opens like a book on the side. So that's nice. That's good. You can keep the meter in the uh, case and uh, move the cover of the case. Interesting. It has Velcro inside. So. Yeah, I'm sure all this is strategically designed to hold the meter in and not obstruct your use of it. So that's pretty cool. All right. And then uh, we remember seeing from Dave's video that they came in these white boxes. Uh, and I have a cold too, so. Jesus. All right. So there's the box. Okay, can you focus? All right, a little bullshit packaging. I wonder what number I got. I think my order number that I saw somewhere was 471. So I'd be curious to see if the EV blog, EV blog serial number is 471. Probably not. We probably just randomly pick them out of the boxes and package them up. All right, so we know what's in here because Dave kind of showed us. Uh, there's the calcert and the thermistor. 
Okay. So there's my Cal cert. What does it tell us? Focus. Uh, uh, serial number. Okay. Certificate of conformity. All right. Fine. There's your thermistor. It's nicely kind of got a rubberized, uh, the cable's kind of got a rubberized feel to it. It's that usual cloth K-type or J-type thermistor. And there's the meter. Thank you, Dave, for putting this meter together. You know, I had a Fluke 87 years and years ago, and I sold it to a good friend of mine because I just didn't think I needed such a good meter. I got a good deal on it. And that was well over 10 years ago. I mean, it might even be 15 years ago. I don't use meters a lot. I'm a, I do, I am an electronic hobbyist, but I'm not doing electronics every day. But I always really liked that Fluke 87 and I always wanted to get a good quality meter. Uh, had my eye on an 87 on eBay, but eh, I just felt, I think I'm just going to hold off. I, I don't know why. I just felt like I should hold off on spending that kind of money, even in the used market. And I'm glad I did because um, I think this meter uh, has a lot more to offer than a Flute 87, frankly. I mean, considering the logging and the uh, upgradable firmware and all those other features that you guys all know about. So anyway, there's the meter. I'm not going to go through it, of course. You know, it's uh, got the 1.1. It's really kind of cool to actually have one of these meters. Okay, let's see what we got here. All right, so I got number 191, it looks like. That's pretty good. I think that's a prime number. I'm happy with that. <laughs> cool, so there you go. So again, thank you very much, Dave, and the other Dave, and uh and all the viewers too because you know you you all the viewers helps dave do what he wants to do and so then he goes off and he creates a meter out of all of his knowledge of doing all those different meter tests uh supplemented with his deep knowledge of electronics design in general and was able to give us a, uh, a really feature-packed, accurate, well-built uh, meter with a proper input stage and, you know, really good, you know, all the, all the kind of like the, he optimized all the features of a multimeter based on his experiences and his ideas of what would make a good multimeter and brought all that together and optimized it from the perspective of price you know, $310 Canadian, I think this is like the meter that I'm going to have uh, buried with me. So thanks very much, Dave, and everybody else, and uh, fantastic. Bye.